It's been a successful year for the Jayco Apollo VIS women's cycling team in 2012. Led by acclaimed coach Donna Ray Zelinski, the team recorded numerous stage victories and the overall win of the Tour of the Mersey Valley in Tasmania. The team has gained broad exposure in the media and on TV. Second ranked rider Lisa Jacobs and her team Jayco Apollo VIS still see the overall win as an achievable goal. We've got a lot of cards to play, we've got some great sprinters and some great breakaway options. And three of the 2013 lineup were selected to feature in my SBS Cycling Central program in the Women and Wheel series. For the time you've been involved in the sport, what's your favourite cycling memory? My fondest memory, I think, at the moment is I had the chance to go overseas with the AIS development team and I actually got a chance to go into the World Cup in the team's time trial. The team for the 2013 season is packed with talent and features a junior world champion, as well as national road series event and stage winners. There's a blend of youth and experience that's set to be a dominant force on the road. In the VIS, we've got, I think, 12 years between the oldest and the youngest racer. And that's awesome because I can maybe be helpful to them from some of my experiences. I've learned a lot from them as well. After a successful 2012, Lisa Jacobs has re-signed with the team for next year. A truly multi-talented rider, Jacobs started the year with the overall win at the Tour of the Mersey Valley after winning a hard stage through punishing conditions in Tasmania. Jacobs then swapped to Nobby Tyres to win the inaugural National Cyclocross Series and internationally she won a stage at the Tour de Timor. Jacobs would finish the year ranked second overall in the Subaru Women's National Road Series. <laughs> Chloe McConville also had a great 2012 with the Jayco Apollo VIS team. Her second place overall, as well as the Queen of the Mountains jersey in the Tour of the Goldfields, capped off a great year for the fast finishing Victorian. And with a series of solid results and having also graced the podium in the battle on the border, she was ranked seventh overall at the conclusion of the national series. Another team member to have raced for Australia this year is Joanne Hogan. 2011 was the breakout year for this most versatile rider as she took second in the National Criterium Championships and then third in the road race. 2012 featured a fourth placing in the Women's Tour of New Zealand and while ultimately unsuccessful, Hogan showed the peloton her prodigious strength with a long solo breakaway in the final stage of the Tour of the Goldfields. Hogan was the recipient of the Amy Gillett Foundation Scholarship in 2011 and the team also features the 2012 scholarship holder, Jessica Allen of Western Australia. Personally coached by Donna Ray Selinski, Allen was crowned the 2011 Junior World Time Trial Champion, as well as the National Junior Points Race Champion on the track. You were amazing! She has exhibited an exciting attacking style during her races with the team in 2012, and has been touted as a major talent for the future. A rider who came late to cycling but quickly showed immense promise is South Australian Taryn Heather. Strong in both the time trial and road races, Heather was selected to represent Australia in the World Championships time trial. And off the back of the strong TT result in the Canberra Women's Tour, she claimed the overall victory. The final member of the team is Kendall Hodges. After a year that included winning the Shipwreck Coast Classic, a stage of the Honda Women's Tour, and second in a stage of the Women's Tour of New Zealand, Hodges was sidelined due to injury, but is now back on form and looking forward to a big 2013. We have nine sprints and we have three KOMs. The team is coached by Donna Ray Zielinski, often referred to as the super coach. She's one of Australia's most successful mentors. And in a coaching career spanning 20 years, she has developed numerous champions. We have a philosophy that we work really, really hard and we race and give 100%. At the same time, we put, try to have a lot of fun and enjoy the experience. We have a team of people who are great mates that they will put it on the line for each other. 
You know, to win a race in a team environment, you have to be committed to each other. As a national junior women's road coach, Ray Zielinski is also keeping an eye to the future. The Victorian Institute of Sports Women's Road Cycling Program has produced some of the best female road cyclists in Australia. Guided by former professional and world-class cyclist Donna Ray Zielinski, all six of the current team have represented Australia at an international level. Dedication, determination and professionalism are the attributes that best personify the team. The VIS Women's Road Program is committed to producing nationally and internationally successful cyclists and would appreciate your sponsorship in support of this goal. The team is confident they can serve as positive role models for cycling, for women and for the choices flooring brand.